Welcome to Fit Your Style. I'm Jennifer Ettinger. On the show today, we have the ultimate bag company, Lug, teaching us how to choose a bag based on your body shape and your fitness activity. Learn your goddess body shape ID, and in the kitchen, I'll share my favorite smoothie recipes and more. Welcome back. I'm so pleased to have on the show one of my favorite finds and Oprah's too, Lug. Let's find out what bag fits your body shape and your fitness activity. Welcome Frida Langelo, brand manager of Lug. Welcome Frida. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, I'm so excited to have you here. <laughs> I have to tell you a funny story and it has to do with this pink, this oh, yeah? Lug pink. I was at CanFit Pro attending a conference and I saw this down an aisle, just the color, and I actually just leaped over over like people and different showcases to get to this bag. I fell in love with this bag and the color. It is fabulous. Oh, we love hearing stories like that. Well, since then, I've been addicted. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Lug and the history. Well, basically, Lug started approximately seven years ago. The founders, Amy and Jason, just realized that the market was saturated with black luggage. So true, it's so boring. It was so boring. Yes. And so in order to distinguish uh, from other bags, they started developing belts and tags, belts and luggage tags. And then from there, and from there, it spanned into lifestyle and active bags. I love whole it. Whole slew. Love it. So where are we going to start off today? Which bag are you going to educate us on? I'm going to start with the Puddle Jumper, which is one of our best sellers. Okay. And I love the name, Puddle, <laughs> the Puddle Jumper. Puddle It's so fun because it's so true. It's perfect for that size. Yeah. Perfect. You go ahead. <laughs> Effectively, this is one of our best sellers because of the shape. So it fits really easily into a locker uh, for the gym, but it also doubles well into an overnight bag. Okay. So there's tons of pockets, as you can see. All over the front, mm -hmm. we've got a detachable mirror, you know, and space for your brushes, for your pens or your pencils. Here are some smaller pockets where you can put your jewelry or a magnetic closure pocket where you can put your TTC pass. Also another magnetic closure here where you can reach down and put your, your magazine so it doesn't fall out of the bag. On the back side, we've got a ventilated compartment here where you can put your shoes or dirty, sweaty clothes. So you want to keep them separate of everything inside the bag. Yes. And also a luggage handle hugger, which can literally just go over your suitcase handle so it doesn't fall off your bag. How brilliant and how smart. I love the ventilated area, because as a trainer, you definitely want to keep that area separate. Oh, yeah. And how fabulous with these uh, pockets in the front, yeah. because you don't want to be digging in your bag. No. That's the challenge that we have. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely. Fabulous. So one of the things that Lug always tries to keep in mind when designing bags is everything about functionality mm -hmm. as well as being lightweight because you want to start off with a bag that's lightweight, right? Yes. You don't want to start off with a bag that weighs five pounds. True. So lightweight, colorful, and fun. I love it. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Which you. one's next? Sorry. It's okay. So next we've got our wind jammer here. So this is a great bag for a medium, medium sized tote because it can, I can use it really easily without feeling too bogged down. Again, we've got all of our signature features here. We've got soft line pockets, an area here for your pens or pencils, mm -hmm. a detachable key fob. Smart. To keep it all, you know, secure. Love it. It comes with a separate uh, coin purse, which some people use for their cameras. Again, that pocket here, that's magnetic closure where you can put in something for really easy grabs. I like to put my cell phone in here. So you just lift the tag and grab your phone. And then here on the back side, we again have that luggage handle hugger. And let's talk about the fabric because I know my bag is a little older now, but it looks brand new. So what is the secret with Lug and its durability? The secret really lies in the fact that all of our bags are treated with a, a water repellent finish. Mm. So it really helps to keep them looking brand new. And if you ever get a stain on it, you just wipe it off really quickly or you can do like a, a quick um, submersion and hand wash it. Perfect. Yeah. And this is perfect for a body shape that again, is a little fuller on the lower body. It's not going to add so much volume. Correct. So it's perfect for the lower body. Uh, we say God is number three in our world and yeah. God is number four. So perfect for that. Thank yeah. you. Wonderful. What's next? Next is one of my personal favorites. This is called the Dodger Mini Backpack. So as you can see, it's a mini size version of a backpack, but it's perfect because it doesn't put a lot of strain on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. So I used this recently to travel to Australia and it was perfect because I could use it for my passport. I put a magazine here in the back. It's got adjustable straps. One of my personal favorites is this hidden water bottle pocket. 
So when you aren't using it, you just fold up the clasp and it just, it's so snug. It also has a lot of space on the inside, mm -hmm. as you can see. There's a removable coin purse right here. Yes. Again, which you can use for your camera. Smart. And then at the bottom here is a wipeable bottom. So you never have to worry about it touching anything that can't be cleaned off. Which is true because a lot of bags get pretty nasty pretty. at the bottom. That's I love <laughs> yeah. that. I love that you're That's able right. to just wipe and go. That's right. And I love this as, again, a woman because you aren't using your bottle. It's so streamlined. It still looks so elegant. It's not bulky on the frame. Absolutely. So perfect, again, for your body shape. It's perfect for goddess number ones who are petite, just nice and lean look. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. And then, da -da -da, this is our cartwheel. So this is one of Oprah's favorite things. As you can see, you can put a yoga mat here in the front compartment, but you can also use it to store you know, a jacket or a sweater, something that you want to have for really easy access. It's got a lot of pockets here at the front again. Your cell phone, your TTC pass. And then here at the back, we've again got our ventilated compartment. We can put some shoes, anything that you want to keep separate of the inside Great. of the bag. Our luggage handle hugger there to keep it on top of a suitcase if you have that handle. And then again, we, we try to build in a lot of soft line pockets mm -hmm. so that you can keep in your camera, your cell phone without it getting scratched along the lining. That's great. A uh, really cool feature about this specific bag, which is the cartwheel, is that we have a little drawstring pocket here. Draw bridge pocket, sorry. And you can literally take off your rings and just open this clasp and place your rings on here so when you go to work out, you don't have to worry about where your jewelry is. So They've thought of everything. They really have. This is an all-in-one bag because you can use it for your, your yoga mat, but then you can also use it for like an overnight, storing your clothes. But then there's so many different pockets that you, can, you don't even need a purse. You can just put it all in here. It's all-in-one. It is. Great. Which one's next? Next, we've got our sidekick. So this is, this is my ultimate favorite. I use this a lot because my husband and I like to go cycling. Um, but it's just a great everyday pack where you can adjust the straps like this. You can remove this if you want to put it around your waist. But it's just got that functionality in the hidden water bottle pocket holder. It's got a magnetic closure here where I put my cell phone. You know, there's a little pocket here where I put my hand sanitizer for really easy access. But just a great go-to bag if you want something that's really simple and streamlined and it's really easy to put over crossbody. I love that it's so moldable to the body. Absolutely. Because of the diversity here. That's yeah. so great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Great. Which one's next? Next, we've got our hula hoop messenger bag. So this is great because you can use it as a day-to-day -day bag, you know, just as a, as a side messenger, but it also doubles as a baby bag. Great. Because who wants to carry a traditional ba baby bag anymore? Yeah. No one. It's, it's really nice and thin, as you can yeah. see. And it's got this drawstring bag in, on the inside if you have dirty diapers or anything that you want to keep separate a changing pad right here. Oh, it's so cute. And then here on the back, again, that ventilate compartment, the luggage handle hugger, and some straps that can go in the stroller. Wonderful. So they just pull out, and when you don't use them, you push them back in. So great, and it doesn't look like one at all. No. And our last bag? Our last bag here is the Airbus. So this is it built in our new two-tone fabric, and this holds basically everything that you could want in, in a gym bag. Um, I know that I personally use this for when I go snowboarding because I have like thicker mitts and scarves and everything that I want to pop in. So if people want to learn more about Lug Life, where do they go? They go to www.luglife.com. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up, we're going to make healthy smoothies in a hurry and we'll be right back after this.
Welcome back. Today's topic is on identifying your goddess body shape. Fruit shop body shapes be gone. Who wants to be an apple or a pear anyway? It's time to reclaim and embrace the body you were born in. Our first goddess is Cindy. Welcome, Cindy. Come on over. Thank you. Cindy is very lean and rectangular in her appearance. So with Cindy, what we want to do is define her curves. We're going to show you an exercise today to do just that. Let's go ahead and get down on the floor. She's going to keep her head neutral, stomach to spine, and she's going to create what's called a rainbow arc. Excellent. This is going to help define the lower body. Perfect. Excellent. She's pointing the toe. She's coming all the way over. And now let's do the other side. And she's showing you variations of it. You can either be on your elbow for a little bit more difficulty, or we can come up. Just make sure you stay your shoulders are squared. Excellent. Perfect. And child's pose. Define your curves with the rainbow arc. Thank you, goddess number one. Our next goddess, Julia. Hey, Julia, come on over. Julia is born with amazing genetics. She has beautifully balanced shoulders to hips. So what we want to do with her is just create a workout that's an all-over workout to keep those curves defined. So let's go on the floor. You're going to hear me say stomach to spine a lot and keeping the head neutral. She's doing a push-up, excellent, with a leg lift. It's a total all-in-one body workout. And repeat. And one more. Fabulous. That's our goddess number two, Julia. Thanks, Julia. Thank you. I'm goddess number three. With a goddess number three, we're very petite in the upper body and fuller in the lower body. So what we want to do is create curves on the top. How we're going to do that is going to be a kneeling shoulder raise. So I'm going to come down into a crunch and come up, carrying weights or just using my own body as resistance. I'm going to come in, creating a C curve with my back, coming back up. So I'm defining my shoulders. That's goddess number three. Goddess number four, Carol. Hey, Carol. Hello. Goddess number four has beautifully shaped arms and legs and carries a little bit more in the abdomen. So what we want to do is define that, those abs for her. And we're going to do that today. So let's cut down on the floor. Carol's going to do what's called the dead bug. This is amazing for that lower body bulge concern. We call it the hormonal belly bulge. She's keeping her head neutral and her chin to the clouds, stomach to spine. She's alternating, but you see she's not touching the floor, which is what we want. We're getting right into the lower part of the abdomen. One more time and breathe naturally and come into center. Excellent. So we're going to define those abs for goddess number four. Thank you. And goddess number five is Lori. Hey, Lori. Hi, Jen. Lori has beautiful, strong shoulders and then really fabulously lean hips. So what we want to do is we want to define those hips to the shoulders. So we want to keep the shoulders as is, and we really want to build up those hips. So let's go ahead and do a hip bridge. She's going to again keep her head neutral and relaxed, chin to the clouds, stomach to spine, and she's coming up one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow, perfect pace. So we're going to create more strength in those hips for Lori, which is going to help her balance those shoulders. That's our goddess number five. And don't worry if you haven't memorized these, we've got you covered. We have a complimentary goddess ID and workout plan at the website below to your health. With our to-do list never ending, getting healthy can be tricky. That's why I love Nutri-Meal smoothies. They offer exceptional nutrition in a very short period of time. The first thing you want to do is pick your protein source, whether it's whey or soy. Whey is an animal-based protein, while soy is vegan, but both are gluten-free. Make sure you look for a blend that's a healthy combination of proteins, fats, and healthy carbs. Let's get started on some of my favorite smoothies. My first one here is a vanilla. Now, no matter which one we go forward with, just note that we're using three scoops for each smoothie. So with the vanilla, we've added three scoops of our vanilla protein, and we added just a handful 
handful of the peaches. All you do is blend it and it's amazing. It's good to go. The next one's called monkey business, hence the name. There's peanut butter and bananas. What we do is one tablespoon of peanut butter with three scoops of our chocolate protein and a half a banana and you're done. That's how simple these recipes are. Then we go into almond joy. Again, three tablespoons of our chocolate shake and then we go ahead with some one tablespoon of the almond butter. We're done. Very, very easy. One of my favorites that's really good for omega and protein is going to be our chia chocolate. With our chia chocolate, what we're doing is three scoops of chocolate and we're just adding one scoop of chia seeds. That's gonna help us with fiber and omega and you're, it's gonna be really, real well balanced and it has a great flavor to it. So again, you whip it up, you're finished. It's that simple. Now, you crave those coffee house lattes, which cannot be the best choice for you. I've created a latte smoothie. So what you do is you take a glass of warm to hot water, just like at a coffee house. You add three tablespoons of our vanilla protein, and you add just a little bit of decaf organic coffee, one quarter teaspoon, that's it. You mix it together and you have yourself amazing vanilla latte. Following that, we go into our pomegranate pleasure. If you're looking for something a little more exotic, what we're doing here is three scoops of our strawberry. We're adding one cup of pomegranate juice, one that does not have sugar added. And then we're going to have a peach or orange extract. Then from there, we are actually gonna be making some smoothies. So one that we've made it already to prepare to show you is our carrot cake. Our carrot cake is over here and it's delicious. What you do is three scoops of our vanilla. We're going to go ahead and add some grated carrots, a little nutmeg, and we blend, and it is simply delicious. So you see that there's such diversity in what we can do in terms of our smoothies. From vanilla to chocolate to strawberry, we've got something to fit your style in terms of the smoothies. The next one we're going to make is a little bit more complex, but it only takes seconds to do again. And that's our German chocolate crunch. We'll be right back and we'll show you how to do that. Welcome back. 
Now I'm going to show you two of my most favorite smoothies in the whole wide world. The first one is called German Chocolate Crunch. For it's all those chocolate holics out there, you're going to love it. And again, it takes seconds to make. So the first thing we're going to do is take three scoops of our chocolate, put it right into our blender. And I've gone ahead and I've added eight ounces of water to the blender to make it a little easier. Now the key to making a smoothie super, super thick, especially if you're using water, is in the ice. The more ice you use, it gets so thick, almost like a milkshake. So I'm going to add my ice. The more the merrier. And then now for the ingredients. So the first thing I love to add is a little extra chocolate. So I'm going to add some So Shy dark chocolate to our shake. Then two walnuts, very simple, just throw it right on in. We're doing about a quarter of a teaspoon of coconut flakes and a hint of our organic coconut extract. I'm just going to eye it, but you could do about a quarter teaspoon or so. There we go. That's it. That's how simple it is to make this. Let me just grab the top. Mix accordingly. We want it very thick. Okay. Now I would say for at home, just wait a little longer until you get all the ice out to make it a little thicker. But you're going to see it's luscious and thick and delicious. German chocolate crunch. Gotta love it. Very good. So now we're going to move on. If you like the exotic taste of pomegranate, we're going to do pomegranate pleasure. So let me get my top off. We're going to take three scoops of strawberry. Just add it into our eight ounces of cold water. Remember what's the trick? Ice. So I'm going to go a little less this time. It's going to make it nice and thick. We're now going to add one cup, and I'm going to do it by eye, of pomegranate juice. Make sure that it's non-sugar added, very, very important, because we want to keep these low glycemic and healthy. So we don't want anything to spike up our blood sugar levels. I'm going to pour in a little bit of a cup. And then just to give it that little extra exotic taste, I'm going to add some orange extract. I'm going to put it in. Put it on. And mix. Here we go. So this is our pomegranate pleasure. I wish you could taste it. It tastes so good. And that's what I love about this is I hope that you've seen from this segment that we can make so many diverse smoothies, whether it is something on the go, whether you want a latte for breakfast, whether you want something decadent like German chocolate crunch as a dessert. You can really have such an array and it only takes seconds to make at home. So they're super, super easy to do. And again, the important thing that you're looking for is making sure that you pick a protein base that is low glycemic and with natural sugars. They'll state on them if they are a low glycemic product. And that's very important because we don't want our sugar levels to go up and down and keep crashing. We're looking for something to keep us on an even keel, to keep us sustained. Now that we've taken care of your health with smoothies, let's talk about your confidence. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite finds, the ultimate body applicator for body confidence. Okay, you're doing everything right. You're having activity in your life. You're watching your food, but you're still having areas of concerns that are holding you back. I want you to check out the Ultimate Body Applicator. It was designed by a doctor, Dr. Louise, who's an herbalist. I'm going to open it up to show you. He actually is a university professor of phytotherapy, which is for the use of plants for medicinal purposes. It has all herbs on one side, and believe it or not, it tightens, tones, and firms in 45 minutes. No fooling. It actually can stay off the frame for up to two months. 
So here's the product. You see that it has one side with herbs. You're then going to place it on any area of concern. So where can that be? Whether it's your abs, you can cut it for your arms, you could use it for your thighs, you can even use it for your calves. It's very easy to do. You place it on that area of concern. You then can take some plastic wrap, or if you're really eco-conscious, you can use an ace bandage. Place it on the area of concern, drink your water, and in 45 minutes, you tighten, tone, and firm. Now, lots of times people ask me, can I use more than one at one time? No, you always use just one per body part, but then the next day you can go into another area. There's also an amazing facial wrap as well. So, I hope that you enjoy the tips of my body confidence tools. Until next time on Fit Your Style, to your health. I look forward to seeing you then.